Hi, welcome back to our class in Analytical Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be performing the experiment on the determination of the chemical formula of hydrates. Now, what are these hydrates? These hydrates are actually salt compounds which contains a specific number of water molecules. When these hydrates are decomposed, this will result into the products which are the anhydrous salt and its water molecules. Decomposing a hydrate is done through heating. So the first thing that we're going to do in the determination of the chemical formula of the hydrate is that we are going to heat the container or the crucible in which we are going to place the hydrate. So this is the crucible. We have to clean this first. Clean this thoroughly with a piece of cloth in such a way that it will be very, very clean and dry. Likewise, it's cover. So this is the cover. We're going to clean it. We're going to wipe this dry. After cleaning it, uh, we are going to heat this over the flame. Together with the cover. We are going to heat that for five minutes. So let's take the time. Okay, since it has been heated for five minutes, we are going to remove this out from the flame and we will cool it. So one way of cooling this is by fanning. So we're going to fan this in order to cool down the crucible. So we have already cooled down the crucible and we will get the mass of this empty crucible. Including the cover. So kindly record this, the mass of the crucible is 33.83 grams. So kindly write this down into your data table. It's 33.83 grams. So you write that in that space wherein it is marked mass of empty crucible. Okay. Then, we are going to put into this empty crucible at least 2 to 3 grams of the hydrate. So, let's open this. So, if you're going to add plus 2 to 3 grams, we will have at least 35 point something as a mass. So, let us try to see. The hydrate that I'm using is the blue vitriol. The hydrate that I'm using is the blue vitriol. So I'm going to place this into the crucible. Let's add another pack of the blue vitriol. Let us try to get the weight. Mm -hmm. 
since it's only 34.83, we will add some more. We will have at least 35. Between 34 to 35. Okay. And the weight now is 35.37 grams. So you write this there in that space, which is marked mass of the crucible with sample. Mass of crucible with sample. It is 35.36 grams. So if you're going to get a difference, there is roughly a difference of 2 point something grams. So because we are asked in the procedure to put there at least 2 to 3 grams of the hydrate sample. After putting the sample into the crucible, we're going to heat this over the flame. And we are asked to heat it first uh, in a low flame, then increase the flame to a medium flame for five minutes, then increase the flame for 10 minutes. So a total of 20 minutes. So let's bring this to the flame. This is yet the low flame. Let's hit that for five minutes with a cover of the crucible a little bit ajar. The purpose of partially closing the crucible is to allow the water molecule to evaporate off. So after heating it for five minutes under a low flame, we will increase now the flame to a medium flame. Okay, because five minutes has passed and we are asked now to heat it further for 10 minutes under a high flame. So 20 minutes of heating has passed. So we're going to remove this crucible with content out and cool it down. So we will fan this again. I want to show to you how the cupric sulfate or the blue vitriol looks like now after heating. After cooling down the crucible, we're going to weigh this again. Plus the cover. And the weight is 34.81 grams. Can you take note? 34.81 grams. 
So let's write it here. 34.81 grams. Then we will hit this again for the second time. First in a low flame. So we'll hit this for five minutes under the low flame and it's only partially covered. For the next five minutes, we're going to increase the flame into a medium flame. Okay. Then for the next 10 minutes, we are going to hit this crucible with content with a high flame. So 20 minutes of hitting this crucible with its content had passed. So we are going to cool down this crucible. Put off the flame. And we will cool this crucible. After cooling this crucible, we are going to weigh this again. Then put on the cover. Underweight is 34.82. 34.82. So kindly write it down. Second heating, it's 34.82 grams. Now, what I would like you to do next is, you are going to get the difference between the mass of the crucible with sample with the mass of the crucible with sample after heating. And if you notice in that space, you have there two spaces to fill in. So the first space there means you're going to get the difference for the first heating and the second space is for the second heating. Then you're going to get the average mass of the mass of water in the hydrate sample. So the difference actually in the mass of the crucible with sample and the mass after first heating is presumed to be the amount of the water from the hydrate that is being evaporated out. Then get the number of moles of water and the number of moles of the cupric sulfate because actually the blue vitriol is chemically known as cupric sulfate pentahydrate. Now you are going to compute the number of moles of the water and the number of moles of the cupric sulfate then establish the chemical formula of the blue vitriol, which is known as cupric sulfate pentahydrate. You have to answer the questions given in the lab guide and submit your output next week. So that would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.